Virgo, what is going on with you? Come on in and have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Virgo love reading. Now, if this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking that bell icon. That way you always get notified anytime I post a new Virgo tarot reading for you. Now let's get on with this Virgo love reading today because today we are going to take a look at your romantic person of interest and how they really feel about you here in the end of September through October of 2022, what this person's really thinking about you, what their intentions are toward you, and then what their most likely actions are going to be toward you moving forward from the end of September through October of 2022. And after we finish taking a look at your person, Virgo, I'm going to get you some advice from the universe on how to best navigate the situation you're finding yourself in with this person. That way you know exactly what to do so that things work out in the way that's best for you. So let's get started with this Virgo love reading and let's get three cards <clears throat> for how does Virgo's romantic person of interest really feel about Virgo for October 2022 please. How does this person really feel about Virgo? <clears throat> One more. How does this person really feel about Virgo for October 2022? Thank you. Oh, we got two here at the end. Oh, oh, I see. That one would be first. Got you. <clears throat> On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is interesting. Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting ahead of myself already. Eight of Pentacles is out here. Nine of Pentacles is also out here, and the Empress is out here. So we got a lot of Earth sign energy. We got a lot of physical reality type energy here. Possibly a lot of energy related to physical, material possessions, including money. In this person's feelings about you, they seem to be in this Seven of Pentacles, which is Taurus energy. This is about taking a pause to reflect and take stock of the situation they're finding themselves in with you, take stock of this connection with you, and taking a look at the seeds that have been planted between the two of you and trying to decide, is this ever going to turn into that Ten of Pentacles that I really want, that maximum stability and abundance and prosperity and combining our lives together into one where we live together and that type of stuff. Is this ever going to turn into that? Is this worth me continuing to put my time, effort, and energy into or is this a spot where maybe it's just not ever going to pan out the way that they want it to? And maybe it's time for them to cut their losses and move on. So this is at the core of what it is that they're feeling here. Got the moon right under that, some Pisces energy. This is fear, worry, and anxiety, usually related to uncertainty. We see them taking time to reflect and take stock of this whole thing. There's definitely some uncertainty for your person and it's bringing up some fear, worry, and anxiety. Ah, fear, worry, and anxiety about uncertainty related to the Ace of Pentacles. This is some new opportunity presenting itself. It's some practical, tangible, physical, real-world opportunity. This is the seed that has the potential to grow into that Ten of Pentacles we just alluded to. We see them waiting to see, is this ever going to turn into it or not? They, they have uncertainty about what to do in this connection. They have uncertainty about... Is there an opportunity here for something actually real with this connection? Huh. This person could be slightly obsessed with you. We have the devil under that. This is Capricorn's major arcana. This is a card of usually a heavy toxic energy. It's usually like obsession or addiction or compulsions or some some element of themselves controlling them you know this is like a feeling of being controlled by something feeling like they can't escape something related to you these are the two people from the lover's card here they just happen to be chained to the devil they can't escape so this can represent that there is a very heavy attraction that this person feels toward you and they feel like they can't escape this connection with you even though they can't quite see whether or not it's ever going to pan out and whether there's ever going to be an opportunity. Now, also in their feelings for you, what actually came out is the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, and then these two came out together, the Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. 
this empress this is the mother of the tarot deck this is she's perpetually pregnant so she's always giving birth to something so for me she represents the birth of something new this is either your person having fear worry and anxiety about being able to get some sort of an opportunity with you to birth a connection with you possibly obsessing about it possibly feeling like dude there's so much gravity and so much like magnetic pull to virgo that i can't escape this or if this is representing someone that you have already been with and there has been some sort of a break in the connection between the two of you this could represent rebirthing the connection either way this person's looking for an opportunity and probably doing some worrying about an opportunity to birth or rebirth something with you also in their feelings for you we have this nine of pentacles this is virgo energy this is like being self-sufficient this is like feeling like with you or without you or in spite of you i'm single feeling single feeling prosperous in their own right though like they don't physically need someone to take care of them or financially need someone to take care of them they can do that now this doesn't represent that they feel like they want to be single it just represents that they are single and that's central to what their feelings are here so i don't think this person wants to be single from you they either want an opportunity to birth a connection with you to begin with or they want an opportunity to rebirth a connection with you these last two cards the three of wands and the eight of pentacles three of wands is aries energy this is about being at the beginning stages of manifesting something like creating the world that this person wants and they've at this stage they've already taken the very first steps on manifesting something they're at the beginning stages of doing something about it it just hasn't happened yet they're still waiting on it but still have this positive expectancy that the thing they're trying to manifest is going to happen it just hasn't happened yet and then we've got a card here of eight of pentacles which is more virgo energy so you're showing up twice in their feelings here and showing up as the empress as well which is good signs but this is a card of work like putting in the work on something putting in the time effort and energy on something we saw here is this worth putting in my my work my time effort and energy on it it looks like it is to them and they're trying to find an opportunity to do something like look here we've got the the ace which is the one and the seven you add that together and you get this eight here this putting in the work on it or at the very least being willing to put in the work on trying to get somewhere with you but this energy of waiting on it I don't know if they've already started putting in the work on it and they've already started taking steps in that direction of like birthing something with you or rebirthing it with you and it just hasn't happened yet or if this is them waiting to put that work in until they get past this fear worry and anxiety and uncertainty and take their time to to reflect on all of this it's one of those two that's their feelings let's take a look at this person's thoughts about you virgo what does this person really think about virgo for october 2022 please what is this person really thinking about virgo okay i got some flip over let me see there's one there's two let's get one more what does this person really think about virgo Where'd you go? I saw you flip. There you are. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. See, again, they were. this was buried in the story on the bottom of the deck for their feelings about you. It's right here on the bottom for their thoughts about you. This is that opportunity that they're looking for. They're thinking about some physical, actual, real-world opportunity with you. An opportunity to get to that could if the work was put in get to that ten of Pentacles where it's like maximum stability abundance prosperity combining lives together they're obsessing in their thoughts about some opportunity with you probably about the connection they feel for you and feel like they can't escape that they're also 
thinking about taking some actions toward you here. This Knight of Swords is an action taker. It's the fastest knight in the deck. This is like rushing forward, taking some rapid, very decisive action on something. Hmm. Related to feelings and love and emotions, King of Cups, this is Pisces or Scorpio energy. This is someone who does not wear their heart on their sleeve. This is somebody who has a lot of emotions for you, a lot of love and emotions for you, but might not necessarily outwardly express that. I don't see any cups out here right now in their feelings. Cups represent emotions and love. There's no cups in their feelings. There's no cups in their thoughts until we get here. They're much more concerned with physical than they are emotional. But it's not that they don't have emotions. They're just not showing me their emotions and they're probably not showing you their emotions either. The King of Cups doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. He does not publicly broadcast how he feels about things. So this could be the type of person that you're sitting right next to and they're in complete emotional turmoil about something. And you wouldn't have the slightest idea that they are because they don't give you any clues. They don't talk about it. You can't pick it up off of them. This is also the kind of person who could be madly and deeply in love with you. And you have no freaking idea of that because they don't express that to you. They don't let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, because they're still in that Seven of Pentacles, that period of time where they're thinking about this. They're reflecting on this. I can't pin down yet if this is someone that you have already been with and you're on some sort of a break with them or if this is a new person who's trying to birth something new. I do, I've seen this Ace of Pentacles a couple of times. That's a new opportunity. I've got this Empress which can represent birthing something new and this person is just in a period of waiting to put the work in on this. Ah, or if this is someone that you have already been with and maybe you're on a break from and they're trying to rebirth the connection and they're looking for an opportunity because they feel like they can't escape you and they're about to take some sort of an actions related to the emotions that they have but aren't actually expressing but it's got to wait until they get past this period of time where they're reflecting there's the moon under that again this could be completely unknown to you and this could also be a case where it's not going to tell me if this is a new person or someone that you've already been with either because this could be something hidden in the dark. I guess there's nothing stopping this from being both of those at the same time. So this is a general collective reading. I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person. I'm tapping into the, a large group of Virgo people here that I'm responsible for getting messages for. So you just got to take this however it resonates for you. If you're not currently with someone or like having problems with someone or recently broken up with someone, this is a new person coming in. In their actual thoughts about you, Virgo, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Swords, and the Magician. I would assume this is someone that you are already dealing with on some level here. This Wheel of Fortune represents thinking about some sort of a very big change, a very very big shift in how things are going between the two of you. This would be like a change in the luck and fortune of this connection is what they're thinking about. Thinking about some opportunity here to change the luck and fortune of the connection. So if things have been going bad, this is looking for a way to turn that around so that things can go good again. I think that's what this is. This is much more likely someone rebirthing a connection with you than a brand new person showing up. Although, again, it could very well be a brand new person too because this Wheel of Fortune can represent like divine timing, a fated event. This could be the Wheel of Fate, the Wheel of Destiny. Hmm. It's possible. You just got to take this how it resonates for you, but central to their thoughts about you in October, Virgo, we have the Three of Swords, Libra energy of heartbreak and sadness, usually from a third energy. So if this is a person from the past, it's possible they had a romantic third party. It's possible they had some not romantic third party, but some other entity 
interfering in the connection. That could have been their work. It could have been geographic distance. It could have been like the time and effort they were putting in, like playing video games or something. It could have been nosy friends or family members or anyone external to the two of you sticking their nose in it. Like anything that us humans do enough of starts to carry its own energy. So this could literally be any number of things. It could be an addiction. I've seen the devil twice. It could be any number of things. If you're asking the question like, well, could it be X, Y, and Z? If you fill in the blank, yeah, if you're asking that question, this third energy could represent that. Whatever that was, there was heartbreak and sadness that happened, and they're thinking about that heartbreak and sadness. That's probably what led to the single energy here, them being single, feeling single physically. They could be thinking that they broke your heart with what they did, now, if this is a brand new person that has never done any of that kind of stuff for you, this is them trying to get an opportunity to, like, do something here to change the situation with you because it's being heartbreaking for them being single, being not with you. So this could be some secret admirer that you don't know about or someone that you do know about just hasn't actually come out and said it yet but this final card in their thoughts is the magician this is the mac daddy master manifester of the tarot deck it's someone who's got all the tools and abilities and resources to create from nothing like to manifest from nothing whatever it is their will desires he's got all four aces on the table so he can create his life any way he wants it to be this tells me your person is good at manifesting what they want right above this is the three of wands they're at the beginning stages of manifesting what they want at a spot where they're at the least bit at the very least willing to put the work in on it if not already actively putting in the work to get what they want this is them trying to create something with you trying to create some change with you or some opportunity with you and feeling like they can't escape it Let's take a look at what this person's intentions are toward you for October 2022, Virgo. What are this person's intentions toward Virgo in October 2022, please? Let's get one more for what are this person's intentions toward Virgo, October. Okay, we'll take an extra one, thanks. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. Can't make this up seven of pentacles you've seen me shuffle this how many different times now we keep seeing this card this is that taurus energy of them still being it intending to be at this pause to reflect and take stock of this situation trying to figure out could this with you ever turn into the thing that they want or is this like not worth putting in their time and effort energy is it is it not worth like the waiting and the waiting with the divine timing here and, and the work that's going to have to be put in to create something and maybe they should cut their losses and move on so this just represents that period of time where they're reflecting on that type of stuff and asking themselves those types of things and there's that opportunity they're looking for they're intending to get to an opportunity so the thing that's stopping the the beginning here, the opportunity from happening, the, the birthing of something new, something starting up, what's, what's in the way of that still, even in their intentions. They're intending to do that, but they have to get through this period of time first. Yeah. They, they can't get it out of their head. There's that devil energy in possible this person has some toxic traits to them they have some patterns that they repeat i've seen the devil three times now whenever i get the devil and the wheel of fortune this is the karmic hamster wheel this is that that toxic element that didn't get addressed the lesson didn't get learned here the ascension didn't take place here and now they're being forced to repeat the lesson so this is that being on that repeating cycle of like I screwed off in school and I failed third grade and they made me do third grade again and I still screwed off the whole time and they made me do third grade again it's just like that constant going and going and going but never getting anywhere because it's like just the repeating of the same cycle it could very well be that so be careful if this is a new person it could just be 
that they're obsessing about getting an opportunity with you. They feel like they can't escape whatever connection they feel to you. Now, in their actual intentions toward you, we have the Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, Queen of Wands, this extra one came out, Judgment. Page of Swords, this is news and messages and communications. This can be speaking the truth. It can also be like premature communications or not, not very well thought out type of communications here. This is also an energy of someone who's trying to learn something, like trying to figure something out. Notice on the card, he's looking to the past, trying to figure out, well, that's what you're doing when you're in this period of time where you're reflecting on something. That's what reflecting literally is. I'm looking at it and trying to figure it out. You know, here's what happened. What does all this mean to me? And what do I do about that? And trying to figure it out. Could be that. I think what they're trying to figure out is this Ace of Cups, which is like that opportunity, but in the emotional sense of things. This is a new beginning in love and emotions. So again, this could be a new person showing up trying to figure out how do I get this new beginning in love and emotions with Virgo, or it could be some person showing up, you know, that you've been with before that's like, you know, you're having problems with or have separated from recently, and they're trying to figure out how to fill the cup back up with you so that this can be rebirthed. And there, also in their intentions for you, Virgo, we have the Queen of Wands. This is usually Aries or Leo energy. This is a bold, passionate, fiery, determined person who knows exactly what they want. And they're going to go out and get what they want. They're not really going to take no for an answer. They're not going to accept excuses or defeat very well. This is someone who's going to go out and get what they want. It also, being the wands, which is about desire, is someone who has an intense desire for you. This person's intending to get what they want. They're thinking about manifesting something. I, Either they're waiting to put the work in on manifesting something with you, or they're already at the beginning stages of putting that work in, and the thing they're trying to manifest just hasn't happened yet. But they're definitely intending to go out and get what they want as it relates to you, which is figuring out how to get this cup of love. Final card in their intentions, judgment. This is powerful major arcana energy of a final decision being made. This is like passing a final verdict and judgment on something, making a final decision. The decision here in a love reading is usually, am I gonna call this connection dead and over with? Like, should I cut my losses and move on? Or is it possible that we can resurrect this and we can bring it back to life and we can transform it and make it so that it's never this heartbreaking way that it was before ever again? This is that final decision on that or, like I said, if this is a brand new person and they're trying to figure out how to offer the cup of love to you because they have all this attraction toward you, this is them making the decision. Like, whatever they're contemplating here while they're paused, this is them making the actual damn decision. That's their intentions. But you know how people are. What they intend to do and then what they actually do. Sometimes very different things. So let's take a look at what this person's most likely actions are going to be toward you for October 2022. What are this person's most likely actions going to be toward Virgo for October 2022? Okay. Bottom of the deck. The Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. This is the Taurus Major Arcana card. This is a card of commitment. This is about taking things to the next level. A lot of times this can be an engagement or a marriage type of a thing here. Definitely about being in a committed relationship and taking things to the next level from wherever they currently are. Where they currently are, you can't make this up. Seven of Pentacles, more Taurus energy. I feel like I've said Taurus a lot. I've said Virgo a few times out here. I've got some more Taurus, possible Libra, some Aries, some Libra, four fixed signs, uh, some Aries or Leo, fire. 
be dealing with any of those signs. You could be dealing with literally any sign in these collective readings. It's going to be almost impossible for me to pin down exactly who you are dealing with specifically. I'm tapping into the collective energy of the group of Virgo people I read for, not your specific energy as an individual person. So you, I'm just calling all these signs out in case they mean anything to you. But this is Taurus, this is Taurus, and we still got in their most likely actions. They're gonna, they want a commitment, but they're still in this contemplative state, taking a pause here, uh, contemplating the opportunity. I don't know what they're waiting on here. Like, what what are they contemplating? Either this, if this is a new person, they just, they don't seem to have guts here. They could be thinking about some heartbreaking thing that they went through from an unrelated person that's not you. And being in the center of their thoughts, that could be influencing whether or not they manifest it. Whether they actually take the actions required to offer this couple love and get this commitment. This seems to be someone who is like, ready, aim, ready, aim, ready, aim, ready, aim, and they don't ever actually squeeze the trigger and fire, you know, that's, yeah, on the opportunity. There's definitely what they want. The devil, again, it's the same card, same order, same story. They can't escape you. In their most likely actions, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, the Moon. I've got three Queens out here on the board. I've got the Empress out here. She represents all four Queens rolled up into one. The only Queen I'm actually missing is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the one that really doesn't take any BS. Like It's about speaking the truth on something and then cutting off the things or the people that don't serve anymore, like that aren't in her best interest anymore. She's like the off with your head queen. She's missing out here. I don't know how to take that. I don't know if that queen that's not showing up in their, all their energy related to you, I don't know if that's another person from their past that hurt them and that's stopping them, that heartbreak from that person is stopping them or influencing them to like really be very, very contemplative about an opportunity here. Possible some toxicity they have around some sort of a painful ending that they went through. Or if this is someone you've been with and there has been a breakup or problematic stuff go on between the two of you and they're trying to figure out how to get you back. Ooh. That Queen of Swords could represent you and that you severed the connection with them. And they're, they're obsessing and constantly thinking about you and the ending that happened. And still, even though it's dead and over, they still can't escape you. It could be either of those two things again. I feel like I'm getting two distinct messages here. Like... One's probably for you, and one's probably for some other Virgo person that's going to show up later and watch this after you. But in their actions toward you, the Queen of Pentacles, this is about stability. This is like half of the equation that builds that Ten of Pentacles we keep alluding to every time they're contemplating, is this going to ever turn into the Ten of Pentacles or not? And this opportunity that's the seed with the potential to grow into the Ten of Pentacles. That's important to them. Commitment being together is important to this person. This is half of the equation that builds that Ten of Pentacles. The other half is the King of Pentacles, which is Virgo or Taurus energy. That other half ain't out here. Which tells me that you guys are not together. Clearly, there's that, there's this, this singles energy of being physically single as in like not together with them, they're, they're likely to try to cause that togetherness. Queen of Cups, this is cancer energy. This is a loving, mothering, nurturing energy. This is a very intuitive queen. This is someone who has a lot of love and emotions to give and wants to give their love and emotions. She wants to take this lid off of her cup and pour the love and emotions into someone. So. There's the cup overflowing. But right above that is that heartbreak and sadness and this singles energy. So 
I don't know if this if this is a new person again. They, they're either way they want to take action toward this and they want to get a connection with you and make a commitment with you. Also in their most likely actions is this Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy of rapid forward movement, rapid forward progress on something. Like rapid back and forth passionate communication. I'm feeling rapid forward progress and movement here. It's like this is a lot of energy coming out all at one time here. This could be overwhelming. This would be like trying to take a drink of water out of a fire hose. Knock you on your ass it's so much. But this is like a lot of passion and desire here like a lot of drive to go get what they want which is some physical connection with you some emotional connection with you some passionate connection with you definitely wanting to manifest that but this final card is it's it, the moon pisces energy fear worry and anxiety that's probably why they're still stuck in this contemplative state regarding this opportunity i they got something under the under the surface here related to some painful ending whether that's with you or with someone else either way that ending has caused heartbreak for this person and it's either made them single from you or that pain is keeping them single because they have too much fear worry and anxiety about uncertainty and the unknown and not being able to see the full path forward from here and what's virgo's judgment going to be of me what's their decision going to be if i bring this forward to them this is that fear worry and anxiety about that uncertainty so I see them like, yes, 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 let's take all this action and then, ooh, wait a minute, I'm scared shitless again. I'm still in this contemplative state again. So I don't really have enough out here to say that this person is actually going to come forward and try to do anything just yet. It looks like they're still waiting, they're still stuck in this pause, this contemplative state. So let's get you some advice, Virgo on how to navigate the situation you're finding yourself in with this person. What should you do? What should you not do? Like, how should you play this so that it works out in the way that's best for you? Let's get some advice for Virgo, please. What should they do about this situation? How should they navigate this so that it works out in the way that's best for Virgo? Okay, come here. I'm on the floor and everything. Well, Come here. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. This is not giving me more clarity on is this an older person or a new person. So I'm just assuming here that this is two separate messages. One for you, one for somebody else that's like in a different situation from where you're at. Okay, what this is saying, Ace of Cups, this new cup of love is going to be coming forward here. Knight of Swords, fastest moving knight in the deck. This is rushing forward, taking rapid, decisive action. This is just somebody who's like, uh, I'm just doing it. Just going for it, not thinking about it anymore. I'm just going to do it, and then I'll think about it later. Page of Swords, there's communication. Or this is someone trying to figure out how to take this action and bring the cup forward. So that there can be this working together, this collaboration between the two of you. Working together is equals to build that Ten of Pentacles. This is what's coming. This is what's coming. Again, don't know if this is a new cup, new person. <sighs> Hard to say. Hard to say. It could go either way here. In the advice for you, Virgo, the devil, which we've seen a bunch of times in this person's energy here. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands, which we have also seen in this person's most likely actions toward you. Devil, again, this is Capricorn energy, heavy, toxic energy, obsession, addiction, compulsion, feeling of being trapped by something, feeling of being controlled by something. A lot of times, this will represent a person who has gone through something that's toxic or not good or not healthy. And whatever it is that they went through caused some sort of a pain, some sort of something that needed addressed and needed dealt with, only they didn't face it. They didn't have the courage to face it. So they just like shoved it down in the shadows of themselves. They repressed it. They pushed it down 
and pretended like it didn't happen, pretended like it's not there. Only it is there. And then it creates scenarios in their life where it's still there and it's under the surface of everything, part of their unconscious now, and it manifests into their physical world, manifesting heartbreak and sadness. That could be the karmic hamster wheel this person's on. Their thoughts and their actions lead them to repeat the same toxic thing over and over again that causes heartbreak and sadness, or whatever it is for them that's this devil that they never addressed and dealt with causes them to get stuck going through the same cycle over and over again where their thoughts and actions create situations where someone else causes heartbreak and sadness to them. That could be why their commitment is important to them and they want it, but they're still stuck in that contemplative state. If this is a person that you've already been dealing with, this is telling me they're toxic. They're, they're just going to do the same shit again. If this is a brand new person, it's telling me that they either have some toxic element that they're that type of a person that just causes loops of heartbreak and sadness with people. Be very careful about this person. Or it could be someone who has been legitimately hurt and that's caused all kinds of trauma to them that they haven't dealt with and it's, it's messing with their life. Either way, that goes. That's something to be cautious about with this person. Six of Cups is next. Scorpio energy of the past. Thinking about the past. Reminiscing about the past. Thinking about the good old days. The way things used to be. Someone from the past. Someone from the past making a comeback. We're in Mercury retrograde. Last I looked, there's five planets in retrograde. This card has been coming out in all of my readings lately. I think there's only been one reading in the past two weeks that I've done that didn't have this card in it. This could be some toxic person from your past making a comeback. Again, if it's a new person, they have toxicity tied to their past in some person that's not you from their past. Eight of Wands. Rapid forward movement, rapid progress, rapid back and forth, passionate communication. This can be an overwhelming amount of energy coming at you all at one time. Like trying to take a drink out of a fire hose. It's too much. Too much to process. Too much to handle. It will knock you on your ass. That's what I'm feeling about this person. Either way it goes, if this is a person from your past, they're toxic. They're going to overwhelm you. Dealing with them is too much to deal with and shouldn't be done. There's a reason why you're apart. Keep that in mind. If this is a brand new person, they're either a toxic asshole themselves and it's going to be too much. Don't even do it. If this is a person who has been hurt before, and they have all this stuff that they haven't dealt with that's been handed to them and burdened onto them by someone from their past, they haven't done their inner work. They haven't done the work on themselves to heal all of that. They're going to overwhelm you and it's going to be too much. If this is a new person, might be the nicest person in the world, but they got some baggage that only they can deal with. You can't do the work for them. You can't force them to do the work. They have to choose to, and they haven't done that up until this point. So their burdens, their toxicity that they're carrying from that person from the past will just overwhelm you too, and you don't want that. So it looks to me like the advice is to be very cautious of whatever that devil energy is that we saw the whole way through. Be very, very cautious. Now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. When you do, you'll be taken to more Virgo love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.